Hello, peace out. Um, this is Acrylics by Kat McHale. I am Kat, aka Kathy. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Make sure you click on it and ask it to do all. Um, that way you get all notifications of new videos. Today I'm going to be doing an open cut pour. I've been trying to do some paintings for my kitchen and so far nothing I've done makes me want to hang it on the wall in my kitchen. <laughs> not that they weren't kind of good because I'm probably going to sell the other ones, but they're just not exactly what I was looking for for my kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to do another one today, open cup pour um, with a bit black base. I've already prepped this 12 by 12 canvas um, and let's get started. My base is black by Artist Loft mixed with a little bit of Floetrol and water. I am using a number of colors. I am using copper from Liquitex Basics. I am using Artist Loft Turquoise. I am using a combination of my own. I call it Cat's Terracotta. And it is a combination of Liquitex Basics Red Oxide and the color Parchment. And this is another concoction of mine. I call it Cat's Brick Red. And it is naphthol red and burnt sienna mixed together. And if you'd like, I can leave those ratios as well. I'm also using Artist Loft Portrait Pink. And I am using Liquitex Basics Gold. And I'm using a little bit of Liquitex Basics Iridescent White. Okay, let the games begin. Okay, voila, the magic of video. My paints are all ready to go. I think I have them in the order that I'm going to use them. And we'll start by pouring a pillow of black right in the center. A little drip there doesn't matter. I need a blowtorch. I wasn't completely set up. I have a hard time refraining from using words that I'm not supposed to publicly. Quarantine. My sailor mouth is now worse than sailor mouth because I haven't had to watch my tongue much. So this is a challenge. Okay, so this is a um, cut from a nine ounce cup. I'm just going to gently place it in the center and I'm going to begin first color is copper oh and I forgot to mention in this color in my turquoise I put in primary elements teal and mix that in and it gives it a little bit of shimmer shimmer a little pizzazz so I'm going to do some turquoise I've been working on my my consistencies for different techniques and that is challenging. So kudos to all of you guys who have mastered it. Poison, I love this brick red. Okay, I learned some historic things today about acrylic, or the other day about acrylic pouring. I apologize, I can't remember who I was watching. I don't know if it was Tammy Anderson. It might have been Tammy Anderson that I was watching on YouTube. And um, she spoke of, or the person spoke of the Raleigh Taylor instability. And that is the whole concept of the differences of densities and the rise and fall and the webbing. Um, and the cells. This is turning out really pretty as I'm sitting here babbling. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Um, so anyway, I also learned that a gentleman by the name of David Alfaro Sequeiros, he's the one who potentially invented acrylic pouring or the technique of acrylic pouring. Um, he called it accidental painting is what I read. And he lived in the he died in 1974, um, but in the 1930s, he discovered the density 
changes of paint when they're layered and he started creating art. Um, I forget what museum that one of his paintings is actually in and um, it would please you to see that it is truly acrylic pouring or paint pouring um, that he did. So, anyway, so he learned how to do this, and so I didn't realize acrylic pouring had truly been around since the 1930s. Um, I also learned, all right, now I'm focusing on this. I'm going to pour some paint around this way. Somebody's texting me. That is my phone. Not the dog. But they're going to be ignored, unfortunately, because we are doing this. I apologize for the interruption. Oh, so I know what I was going to say is based on this David Sequeiros and his accidental painting um, technique, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a great name for a YouTube channel? And so I'm considering changing my name from Acrylics by Kat McHale to Accidental Painting by Kat McHale. Um, I believe it's not a copyrighted term of any kind. Um, so what do you think? Do you think I should change my name? If you do or don't, give me a comment. Let me know what you think before I do something silly. Um, I'm going to move this a little. And for your viewing pleasure and to short the video, we're going to fast forward through this part, just adding some more paint and then finally getting the cup off of the canvas. I do a little twisteroo at the end. Voila. Again, patience. Patience in all kinds of things with this painting. Patience in, patience in tilting, patience in pouring, patience in waiting. just got impatient, you know that? But, I think I'm liking this better than my other painting. Okay. This is where I need to take some patience. I'm going to get rid of my cup. I'm going to wipe off my hands so I don't drip on anything. These puppy pads I bought three years ago and never used them. They were out in the garage. My husband and I have been trying to clean things out and I came across a whole pack of them unopened. So I don't have a puppy and I really never used them for the dog. Um, but, uh, they're coming in handy for this. I wouldn't have bought them for this. That's expensive and a lot of unfriendly waste, I think. Okay, Thomas is my husband.
Yeah, we started our kitchen in January, and because of COVID-19, we didn't finish till the end of May. looks badass oh did I say a bad word compared to my other one and I'll show you my other one in a minute let me um I don't know do I need to do anything else I'm thinking I should leave well enough alone although... that one's clean so I think that one's better than this one. I think it is too, but far. Let's ask the audience. This was the first one I did. I mean, it's not bad, but I did. I had to add extra paint, the gold and the teal, and I don't know, just didn't turn out. So I think this one is better. Our kitchen has turquoise and it has the terracotta it has gray in the granite it, this this reflects almost all the colors in the kitchen my gloves okay I switched to my cell phone and we're gonna get a close-up I tried to move my lights so they're there that they're in the best position but check out those cells I love the colors I'm gonna do a sister painting to go with it or I did one um, as a Dutch blow with the same color scheme Lined. I have a little bit of everything in there. I love it. 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 Thank you.